Kia ora year 12 and 13. This is an excellence question from the 2015 differentiation paper. It's about a chopped off pyramid that's been turned upside down and turned into a water container. One of your favourite kinds of questions, it's a related rates one. Okay, I tried to make this big enough to read, but if it's not, go and get the paper from Moodle or the NZQA website. Um, we've got a water container and it's been built in the shape of a square based pyramid. Okay, now that's going to make life a bit easier because that means that this dimension, this dimension, and this dimension are all the same. Right, so the height of the pyramid is the same as the length of each side of its base. A vertical height of 20 centimetres has then been cut off the top of the pyramid and a new flat top added. Okay, so they've chopped a bit off and they've turned it upside down and it looks like this. Water is now being poured in at the rate of 3,000 cubic centimetres per minute. So we can already write down dV by dt, where V is volume of water, is equal to 3,000. And that's our trigger to think, OK, this is definitely going to be a related rates problem. And my goal will be something to do with a chain rule relationship with one of the other variables. OK, and here we go. Find the rate at which the surface area of the water is increasing when the depth of the water is 15 centimetres. Alright, so let's think about, first of all, forget about the chopping off the top of the pyramid, and let's just think about the volume of a pyramid without the complication. So here, um, suppose we've got a pyramid of height h, then the volume would be one third times h squared times h. Right, so the volume simplifies quite nicely to one third h cubed. The only difference in our one is going to be that we've chopped off this bit here. So the volume will be one third h cubed minus 20 cubed over 3. Okay, so that's the volume of the little pyramid on the bottom. So let's now start thinking about what the depth of the water is. Well, if my whole height is h, I'm going to have a new variable that I'm going to call x. So let x equal water depth. And x is just going to be the height of the whole thing before it got any chopping off done. Take away 20. Now, why do I want to have that water depth as, as a different variable? Well, because I'm looking at the rate at which the surface area is increasing. Okay. So I'm going to go to the next slide now. Because this is getting a bit messy. Okay, so x is equal to the depth. And we know that x plus 20 is equal to h. So we're looking for the surface area, which is going to be the flat square bit. Actually, we could just use this bit, right? So here's my surface area here. So that's shown if the pyramid is full, if the water trough is full up. But I can imagine parallel planes like that the whole way down. So the surface area is just going to be equal to h squared, which is equal to x plus 20 squared. So we're looking for dSA by dt. And it's going to be a chain rule problem. It's going to end up with how is the volume changing over time. So we know that one already. How are the volume and the depth linked? So we're going to have here, we're going to have dx by dv. So what's happening to the depth of the water as the water's going in? All right, and we know that this is not going to be the same all the time because it's not a cylinder, right? So even though we've got a constant flow rate in here, because we have something with sides like this, um, this it won't be this situation. It'll be a something with an X in it probably. And lastly, we're going to have how does the surface area change as the water depth changes. So now all we're doing is we're just looking for three simple derivatives, and we've got one already. We can get the next one, so dSA, J 
change colour pen, dsa by dx is equal to 2 times x plus 20. So that one's pretty easy. That's from here. You could have expanded that out, but you're just going to end up factorising at the end anyway. The last one we've got to look at is dx by dv. Alright, so we had the volume of the um, trough was equal to one third times h cubed minus one third times 20 cubed. So the volume is equal to one third times x plus 20 cubed minus whatever that number is, and we don't really care about that, so we'll just leave it like that. The reason we don't really care about it is because we're really interested in getting the link between the x and the v. So it goes like this. So it's going to be 3 over 3 times x plus 20 squared, using the chain rule, but the derivative of the inner function is just 1, so there's nothing to worry about there. So this simplifies to x plus 20 squared. We don't want dv by dx though, we want its reciprocal dx by dv, so that's going to be 1 over x plus 20 squared. On the next slide we're going to put all of that together and then do some substitution. Right, so one more time, dsa by dt is equal to dsa by dx times dx by dv times dv by dt. If you're sitting in the exam and you're having trouble working out what that relationship is, then one way to do it is to figure out what's the bit that's going to be on the end. That will be the rate you're given. This variable here, the v, gives you a clue about what's coming back in here. Okay, and the first one is always going to start with the, the thing that you're interested in, so here the surface area. So that's that's kind of a, not a cheaty way, but just about, if you find these hard, try that. Anyway, dsa by dx was equal to 2 times x plus 20 times 1 over x plus 20 squared, and this last one was just an easy number, it was just 3,000, so we get 6,000 over x plus 20, which is not too bad. We want to know the rate of change when the depth is 15 centimetres, so x is 15, so we're going to substitute that in. Um, to save space, I'm going to do it here, so that works out to be 6,000 divided by 35, and that comes out to be 171.4. Now my units, because I'm working with surface area, must be centimetres squared, and that's per minute, right, because we're sticking with our time units from the start of the question. Okay, so the rate at which the surface area of the water trough that's a terrible pyramid picture, but there you go. The rate at which that surface area is increasing when the water's flowing in at 3,000 cubic centimetres per minute is 171.4 square centimetres per minute. Thanks for watching. Um, you might want to try that one again uh, yourselves because I think um, lots of students have said to me that they found this question very difficult. All right, so just go through that one really slowly.